in this video i'm gonna compare github copilot versus cursor versus windsurf and tell you which one is better by the end of the video you know pros and cons features and know exactly which one actually fits you better most people think these tools all do the same thing just to just lines of code but here's the truth they're built for completely different types of developers and picking the wrong one could mean wasting money, slowing down your workflow or even blocking your team's progress. I've tested all three across real world projects, a small personal scripts, prototypes and enterprise scale apps. So by the end, you'll know exactly which one fits your workflow. Let's dive in. Let's start with the most popular, GitHub Copilot. Copilot integrates seamlessly into IDEs like VS Code, JetBrains and even Neovim. It's known for giving quick, reliable inline suggestions, things like boilerplate code, helper functions or small snippets. Why does this matter? Because if you're a beginner or just want something affordable and easy, Copilot is a plug and play solution. At just $10 a month, it's hard to beat. But here's the limitation. Once your project gets big, Copilot struggles with context. It doesn't really understand huge code bases or complex refactoring. So yes, it's affordable, but you may outgrow it quickly. And that's where Cursor steps in. Cursor isn't just an add-on. It's full AI-powered code editor built as a fork of VS Code. The difference? It's designed to act like a true coding partner. Features like agent mode can actually find the right files, write terminal comments, and fix errors across your whole project. It even supports multiple AI models, Cloudy, GPT, Gemini, so you're not locked into just one. Why does this matter? Because cursor feels less like autocomplete and more like having a second brain in your IDE. It predicts your edits, auto imports, and handle multi-file chains in a way a copilot simply can't. For solo developers and small teams, this is a game changer. Yes, it's pricier at $20 a month, but the speed and depth of project understanding more than justify it. And if Cursor is the best option for individual developers, what about teams and enterprises working on massive code bases? That's where Windsurf comes in. Windsurf built in Codium is another VS code based IDE, but is engineered for big complex projects and enterprise environments. Here's the magic. Features like Riptide Search let you scan millions of lines of code instantly. Cascade Chat understands your actions and your code base in real time without you needing to feed it tons of manual context. And yes, it supports image, global rules, and on-premise deployment for industries with strict security needs. Why does this matter? Because if you're running a team working with regulated industries or maintaining a massive monorepo, Windsurf is built for you. The downside? Its UI isn't as polished as Cursor and its pricing model can feel confusing, but for large-scale collaborations and enterprise workflows, Windsurf stands out. So how do they stack up? Copilot is simple cheap and great for small projects. Cursor is the fastest, most advanced and polished, best overall for most developers. Windstar focuses on enterprise teams, deep context and collaboration. In terms of speed, Cursor is the fastest, Windstar close behind and Copilot lags a bit on bigger projects. In terms of pricing, Copilot wins at $10 a month, Windstar comes in at $15 a month and Cursor is $20 a month. And in terms of context awareness, Copilot is limited, Cursor is strong and Windsurf is enterprise level deep. So which one should you actually use? Here's my take. If you're just starting out or want something affordable, go with GitHub Copilot. If you're a solo dev or small team and you care about speed and deep project support, Cursor is hand down the best overall in 2025. And if you're running a big enterprise team, Windsurf is way to go. The winner for most developers, Cursor. It's balanced speed, advanced features and usability better than the rest. But don't take my word for it. Try their free tiers of each and see which one fits your workflow. So this is it. Thanks for watching this video.